Now, there's been a disturbing turn of events in Pakistan too at around 8.30 a.m. on Monday morning. Two officials at the Indian High Commission in Pakistan went missing. Both were drivers of CISF, the Central Indu Industrial Security Forces. They were reportedly on duty when they disappeared. When the Indian mission failed to get in touch with them, they took up the matter with the Pakistani authorities. In Delhi, India's External Affairs Ministry summoned Pakistan's charge affairs. That was when Pakistan finally disclosed their whereabouts. The two Indians were taken into custody of the Islamabad police. And a while ago, these Indian uh, officials, Indian diplomats rather, got them released through diplomatic immunity. But let's understand Pakistan's pretext for holding them. A hit and run case. Islamabad says the Indians were involved in a hit and run case. Harassment of Indian officials in Pakistan is not new. What's remarkable this time is the timing. It's a tit for tat move. Let me explain how. A few days back, India had expelled two officials from the Pakistani High Commission in Delhi. Abid Hussain and Tahir Khan. We reported that story. These two were working in the visa section of the Pakistan High Commission. They were caught spying, red-handed. They were using fake Indian identities to source sensitive documents. India declared them persona non grata. And India sent them back to Islamabad the very next day. And since then, Pakistan has been looking for reasons to expel Indian officials on the same charges. That's about the measure of this hit-and-run case. As for the harassment of Indian diplomats, like I said, it's a regular affair in Pakistan. Earlier this month, alleged ISI operatives had harassed India's charged affairs in Pakistan, Gaurav Aluwalia. Reports say the ISI had placed many agents near Aluwalia's house to intimidate him. And we have images. Look at these. A bike-born man, allegedly an ISI agent, even tailed the diplomat's car through Islamabad. Indian diplomats in Pakistan are subjected to incessant and aggressive surveillance. In March this year, the Indian High Commission in Pakistan sent a strong protest note. India cited 13 instances of harassment in the month of March alone and demanded an investigation. What, did Pakistan, what is Pakistan doing about it? Nothing. And now they arrested two Indian officers today. Pakistan violates not just the ceasefire at the border, but also the rules of diplomacy.